Okay. So today again is the 8th of March 2020 and 2021. And we will be looking at directors. So like I said, we have so much to cover. And uh, so we'll be, we'll be rushing, but I'll make my slides available. Has it been helpful, the ones I've been sending? Yes. yes. So great. It's good to hear that. So I will start by introducing the topic, and then if there are questions, we'll see what we can do with them. Is that OK? Yes. yes. Sir. So every company is required to have, or has historically been required to have directors a set of professional men and women appointed to manage and direct the affairs of the, the company. So directors functioning as a board are a very critical uh, set of stakeholders in what we call corporate governance. They're a very critical set of stakeholders in what we call a corporate governance. Because the company, like we all know, on incorporation is a separate entity, separate legal entity, and it is mandated by law to be managed not by the owners of the company, or what you call the shareholders, but by a, a direct, a select group of persons who are called directors. And as we will find out in the course of this lecture, these directors are agents and trustees of the company, managing the affairs of the company for its interest and invariably for the benefit of other stakeholders like the shareholders, creditors, employees, and third parties, as the case may be. But there are some key issues in corporate governance which I would like to point out from inception. These are problems that have arisen by virtue of what you call uh, agency problems. What is an agency problem? Agency problems are problems that could arise when directors pursue objectives that are at variance with the objects of the company and of the shareholders and of its shareholders, if you may. So these are some of the issues that have arisen, particularly in the past 30 years, since about 1990 till now. The, from about 1990, we had what you call the corporate governance move. Because of the, the collapse of what you call some very, very mighty companies, there were investigations and committees were set up across countries to inquire into why some of these, com these companies collapsed. You know, not not notably, it's uh, Enron, Enron, WorldCom, and a number of other large companies that collapsed in the, U in the UK, in the US, in Italy, even in Japan, and in Nigeria as well. So some of the key corporate, key issues in corporate governance, or key, yeah, key issues in corporate governance, financial reporting and audits, directors' remuneration, balance of power in the board, company shareholder relations, risk control, shareholder passivity, communication between shareholders, and directors. But before we move on, who are directors? Who are directors? So, Karma defines who a director is. Section 269 tells us that directors are persons appointed, duly appointed to manage and to direct the affairs of the company. Are you with me so far? Yes. Yeah, and section 868, which is actually the definition section of Karma 2021, also tells us that uh, a director is a person who is appointed, who is who manages the company irrespective of the name that he's called, irrespective of the name that he's called. So a person is not a director because he's called a director, but he's a director because of the position he occupies in the company. Are you with me? Yes. So you can be called a director in a company, and you are not actually a director, and you may be called something else. You may be called a manager. You may be called a chief financial officer. You may be called a chief executive officer, and actually, you are a director. So what makes a person a director is not the name he's called, but the position he occupies. Are you with me so far? Yes, sir. So please, can you look at this case, Azodo versus KK, 
construction mm -hmm. limited, repeat uh, reported in a law pavilion for those of you who have it. The, a, a, a sister case is one quarter versus KK construction uh, limited. Again, you will see it in a, you will see it in a law pavilion as well. So remember from our first semester that every company must have two basic organs. Two basic organs. We have the board of directors on the one hand, and then we have what the members in general meeting on the other hand. You know, so when the directors function collectively as a board, then they constitute an organ of the company. When they, when they operate individually, then they operate not as an organ, but as, as agents. Are you with me so far? Yes. The board of directors is not an agent of the company. It's an organ of the company. And so its actions and decisions are directly attributed to it. OK, so let's move on. Okay, so I've already said that directors are agents of the company, and uh, as a result of that, they are not, you remember again the uh, limited liability doctrine that we talked about in first semester. So the directors of the company do not bear responsibility for the liabilities of the company. The company bears its responsibility, except a director decides to undertake to bear uh, responsibility for the obligation. My friend, check. I want to stand here. Check him. My face is showing. Yeah. Just check. No, 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 no. no, no. Uh, very important. Uh, because I have to be. Perfect. Is it better now? Yeah. If I stay here, is it is it being captured? No, no. 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 Wait, wait. How do they proceed? 